Former White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki will debut her new show, Inside with Jen Psaki, on MSNBC on March 19th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, according to the network. The program will leverage Psaki's wide-ranging expertise to tackle the biggest issues of the week, according to the network, featuring one-on-one -on -one interviews with newsmakers. Psaki will still be featured across the network in special coverage, including election coverage, and she will also write a regular column for MSNBC Daily, a morning uh, newsletter. But probably all anyone wants to see is her engage with Peter Ducey, which is, I guess, not possible. <laughs> He's on Fox and she's on MSNBC. They should have given them a crossfire style yeah, show. Yeah, a debate show like this one. Yeah. Oh, no. No, we don't want to give our bosses any ideas without new hosts. <laughs> no, that would never work. That would just be terrible television. Oh, boy, boy. So, look, I'll say this about Jen Psaki, especially now that we are in a different era of uh, press secretary, that, you know, she was good at her job. She was very competent, et cetera. But the thing that makes a press secretary in that situation kind of good at their job is being able to deflect and evade in a way that Massage. seems... Right. That doesn't seem quite so squirrely. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. Do you think that's going to translate into a kind of uh, media host capacity where I think a certain degree of transparency is of value and being forthcoming with one's opinions and one's insights? I mean, I think you know you're a former press secretary. I think you're kind of the exception here because, <laughs> to your credit, I think you're pretty. I, I never feel like you're just trying to advance the interests of the Democratic Party or even necessarily. <laughs> I uh, wasn't even the press Sanders. secretary for a different yeah. right. Yeah, uh, you know, you tell it like it is, and maybe Jen Psaki will be like that too. But you know, if I was President Biden. And I found out that my former press secretary is getting a show on uh, on a channel where a lot of my voters um, hang out. I'd be pretty happy about it because, yeah, you, you and she also she's, she's recently in the administration. So the concern is that she'll she'll go soft. I, I agree that she's a pretty effective communicator. Uh, I think she's a good commentator. I don't know how much sense it makes to give her a show, given that she's just like so freshly out of the administration. Um, it you know raises the possibility of is she just there to like you know represent the administration or, or you know own, she won't ask the tough questions that kind of stuff but you know whatever she's talented at tv and comms so i don't yeah i'm not getting worked it's up funny, about that it, conflict of inter interest there issue, is that it's, it's weird that it's not more pointed yeah. i mean i remember when I, when the campaign and when the bernie campaign ended and that summer i was unemployed and i started to try to freelance a little bit i had outlets tell me that they didn't want me to write about basically anything having to do with the election, which was the only news. I mean, I was a right. politics reporter beforehand right. you know, at The Intercept, so what all I wanted to talk about was the general election now. And they said it was too close. I was like too close to it and there was a conflict of interest, which might have been right, but it's very interesting to see that that is the message that someone like me got, mm -hmm. where you know my predecessor in the Bernie campaign in 2016, direct ticket to the Biden administration and then to her own show on MSNBC, Jen Psaki, direct ticket from the Biden administration to MSNBC. It does feel like there's not a lot of consistency being applied with how what we what we expect of our newscasters, how much should they disclose, and should we be scrutinizing them for whether they're ever willing to take an oppositional relationship to the people they once worked for? Yeah, no, I think that's a, a, a good question. I wonder if that was something that was even really considered as they were deciding whether to green like this. I, don't, I think they think I don't, the value yeah, in her being there is, in fact, that she has that relationship to the Biden administration. Yeah, but if she discovers something uncomfortable for the Biden administration, is it going to get reported? It does something uncomfortable get transmitted to her, or does she find out about the uncomfortable thing and then is able to kill it because she has a friendliness? Again, I'm not specifically accusing her of anything. No, it's not. Uh, it's yeah. more just the nature of, of that work. It's a tough job. Being a press secretary is very, seems like a very tough job. Um, seems like it can be actually soul crushing <laughs> in, yeah. uh, in certain circumstances. But and, and it's worth noting, you know, her career before Biden, she was the press secretary for what was it? Was it I, I have no idea. It was. I want to say it was remember. a defense, um, a defense contractor. Oh, perfect. Well, she'd be right at home. <laughs> um, it's not coming up on, on her uh, Wikipedia, but she has a, a history of not necessarily always. Hmm. Uh, State Department. State Department. Okay. State Department. You know, there's, so there's a long career there of being able to massage, as you put it, yep. some facts that perhaps are inconvenient. <laughs> she was the spokesperson for the State Department. She was preceded by Victoria Newland and succeeded by John Kirby. These are the all. These are the two people in the, the Nord Stream conversation, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The whole Ukraine conversation dating back yeah. to the. So I don't the think they're going to have a very serious conversation on her program about what went wrong with Nord Stream, but uh, you know, surprise me, Jen. 
<laughs> Surprise this shit. <laughs> All right, we'll have more rising right after this. Stay tuned.